Hello everyone, welcome back. This question is from Gate 2015 exam and it is for two marks. You need to find out how many times will print statement be executed in this program. So let us start executing it from first line of main function. That is this one. You can see we are trying to declare some integers i, j and k. k is initialized with the value 0. In next line you can see we are trying to assign some value to this variable j. This is the value that we want to assign. Now to solve this, you need to know the precedence of operators in C language. I'll display an image. You can see that precedence of star and divide, that means multiply and divide, is higher than plus or minus. So both of these operators, they have same precedence. But their precedence is higher than these two operators. Now because both of these operators, they have same precedence, then how do we know which one has to be solved first? That can be known by checking its associativity. You can see associativity of both of these operators is left to right. That means for solving this expression, scan it from left to right and whenever you see any one of these two operators solve it there only okay so you can see when you scan it you see multiply so solve it here only so first thing that will be solved is 2 multiplied by 3 what are you going to get you are going to get 6 then divided by 4 and all of this let us copy it as it is okay i am just going slow because i want to explain it you can solve it in one step only Now in next step, again just scan it from left to right and whenever you see any one of these operators solve it there only. That means now 6 divided by 4 will be solved. So 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. But the thing is 6 as well as 4, both of these they are integers. So their answer has to be integer. That means the decimal part or 0.5 it will be neglected. So the result will be 1 only, okay. Then this part is copied as it is. Now we need to solve this divide because if you scan this expression from here, first time you will see this divide, okay, out of these two symbols. Now 2.0 divided by 5, that means a float or a double is being divided by an integer. So we need to upgrade that integer. That means 5 will now become 5.0. So this 5 is upgraded like this. Okay. 2.0 divided by 5.0. It is 0 0.4. Now have a look. You cannot neglect this decimal part. Because this is also float. This is also float. And their answer will also be a float only. Okay. Or a double. Now see. Again scan this expression from left to right and whenever you see any one of these operators solve it there only. So 8 divided by 5 is 1.6 but both of these numbers 8 and 5 they are integers hence we will just neglect this decimal part. Okay. Integers when divided or added they will give an integer only. Okay. Now have a look. We have solved both of divide and multiply. Then next step is solve these two operators. Their associativity is also from left to right only. That means now scan this expression from left to right for these two operators and solve it there only. So you can see to add both of these you have to upgrade 1 to 1.0. Similarly this one will also be upgraded and the result will be 2.0. Sorry, it will be 2.4. So this is the answer. Now 2.4 has to be assigned to j. But j is an integer. You can see j can only save the integer part. So 0.4 will be neglected and value 2 is assigned to j. Okay. In next line, you have written k minus is equal to minus minus j. k minus is equal to minus minus j. 
दिस इज सिमिलर टू राइट एंग के इज इक्वल टू के माइनस 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 जे दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम द करंट वैल्यू ऑफ के सब ट्रैक्ट माइनस माइनस जे सो करंट वैल्यू ऑफ के इट इज जीरो जीरो माइनस 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 जे सो माइनस माइनस जे मीन्स प्री इंक्रीमेंट सॉरी प्री डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर इज यूज सो फर्स्ट रिड्यूस द वैल्यू ऑफ जे वॉट एस जे जे इज करंटली टू टू सॉल्व माइनस माइनस जे डिक्रीमेंट इट्स करंट वैल्यू देन वॉट एवर इज द न्यू वैल्यू यूज इट एन एक्सप्रेशन ना आई एम यूजिंग दिस वन इन द एक्सप्रेशन लाइक दिस सो जीरो माइनस वन इज माइनस वन दिस हैज टू बी असाइंड टू के दैट मीन्स के नाउ बिकम्स माइनस वन now let me just clear some space then we will also solve this loop so have a look next line is a for loop and we are trying to initialize i with the value 0 so i gets 0 just analyze that this loop will be executed 5 times 0 1 2 3 4 okay so i will take these five values so let us draw a table have a look this loop increments i every time i starts from 0 and i goes till 5 whenever i becomes 5 we will come out of the loop that means these are the values of i 0 1 2 3 4 5 and in fifth time we need not execute the body of loop or rather when i is equal to 5 in that iteration we need not execute the body of loop now let us see what will happen when i is equal to 0 condition is true so we are going to enter the loop we have written switch i plus j what is i plus j i plus j will be 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 so this evaluated to minus 1 can you find case minus 1 no it is not present we have only 1 2 and 3 that means default case will be executed for this switch so i am writing d let us see what will happen when i is incremented to 1 now i becomes 1 in this case condition is true so i plus j will be 1 1 1 that is 0 okay similarly you can see in this case when i plus j is 0 none of these three matches so you have to execute the default case hence i am writing d here what will happen next time next time i will become 2 i plus j will become 1 then next time i plus j will be 2 next time i plus j will be 3 okay when i plus j is 1 in that case first case will match okay so i am writing case 1 when i plus j is 2 then case 2 will match so i'm writing case 2 and here you can see case 3 will match now whenever default case matches you will execute this print statement in first iteration when i is 0 default case matches so only once print is executed here also print is executed only once then when case 1 matches in that case you have to execute this expression but in case 1 nothing is mentioned so nothing will be executed until a break is found okay see all of the subsequent cases will also be executed until you encounter a break statement or these ending brackets now this case matches here nothing is written that's okay but you have to execute this statement also because you haven't encountered any break statement it is important to write break statement after all the expressions in the case have ended okay so in this case what will happen 1 2 3 3 print statements will be executed because we have missed breaks okay so there are no break statements in this so from wherever you have found a match start from there keep on executing all the cases until you see any break statement
let us see what will happen here so you found a match on this line keep on executing all the cases until you see any break so one two three all the three cases will be executed so all these three print statements will be executed now let us see what will happen when case three matches that means this one so you have found a match here start from here keep on executing all the cases until you find any break statement or the sending bracket so one two twice the print statement will be executed so in total how many times print statement is executed one one three three two so the total is ten so two plus 2 is 4 plus x is 10. So the answer to this question is 10. That means we will print i plus k 10 times. Okay, They may have different different values but in total 10 times print is executed. Okay. So this will be the output. You can see i plus j is printed once. So minus 1 is printed once. Then 0 is printed once, I have printed 0. Then 1 is printed 3 times, so I have printed 1 3 times. Then 2 is also printed 3 times, I have printed 2 3 times. Then 3, this one, this 3 is printed twice, so I have written it, it twice. This is the output, but they were not asking about output, they were asking how many times print is executed, that is 10. Have a good day.